feel like I'm looking at this camera and I feel like I'm looking across myself. Let's wait for anybody to join us. We're just uh, having a little sip, hope you don't mind. Mm. Well, tonight, if you're watching the replay of this, we are live at Sky Bar, Tenerife. I don't know if you know Sky Bar. We've got a lovely little view behind us. Move out of the way. Of Porta Colon Beach. And uh, it's not great. It's not great in the dark. You've also found us with uh, a sandstorm at the moment of Kalima. Yes. Let me turn this around a little bit. Because uh, trying to get the view in, you might have to shuffle up bum a little bit. And get this in. Yeah, you, I hope you hear us all right. You found us live at Sky Bar. We're out and about. We're on the booze, look. Are we on the booze? We're on the booze. We can't lose, we're on the booze. Not on the I've been to the gym today. Steph hasn't. No. Because she's very no, naughty. She's very naughty. Excuse me, I'm just doing this quickly. Like... Okay, you just put it up there. I really feel like I'm not in this shot, and I should be, because I'm really the star and the better looking one. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? Yes, move that, let me move that out about a little bit. Is it nice to see some palm trees? I'm looking at them, but I'm looking sideways because of the way the camera is. Right, we've got seven people on tonight, eight people on. Who's on? Come and say hello in the chat because uh, we need to know who's on so we can interact with you. That'd be amazing. Hmm. You're just going to sit there. No, I'm not being amazing. You're, she's advertising us on Facebook so that people know, so that people know we're live tonight. Well, what we're going to do is a new feature. We're gonna, once a week, I think, we're gonna do our little sit down and catch up that we did on Tuesday, which got an amazing response. Um, yeah, it did, was good fun. Did you all enjoy that? I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed that. So you you talk to, I know you talk to our people a minute while I talk to her. We've, we've got Dee turned up, we've got a dear friend turned up. That's all right. That's all right. Hi, Mom. Hello, how are you? Sorry, uh, I was just sharing on Facebook. How is everyone this evening? Today it's quite pleasant, quite pleasant today, uh, quite warm, very warm, we're apparently going to get the mother of all Kalimas coming. Uh, if you don't know what a Kalima is, uh, a Kalima is a sandstorm that comes over from the Sahara Desert and it just brings nothing but heat, heat, oh, oh, hello Lorraine, hello, how are you all? Um, Michael's just talking. Surprise, surprise. How is everyone? Tell me how your day's been. It's been too hot here. It's been far too hot. So I've stayed indoors and I haven't been to the gym. I've been quite lazy. Talk to me. What's going on? Mum, what are you up to? Paul, I've seen you. Talk to me. We're just waiting on Simon to arrive. We're going to have a little interview with him, see how he is. We've got loads of questions for him. And uh, clearly, I'm not the talker here. Clearly, it's Michael. <laughs> Michael, come on, baby. Sorry. But, um, let's have a look. Sorry, I'll come and see you. I will. Hello, my love. How are you? Enjoy. We've got our lovely D. Do you want to come and say hello? No, no she's too shy. Really? We've got our lovely D looking beautiful, the new one half of the new owners of the Soul Sweep. Oh, she's only little. Can we not get a crate? Can we not get a crate? This is our lovely Deirdre. So, when, thank you. So, when you lovely people come over and you uh, are ready to experience the new Soul Sweep, she will be there to give you a, a warm Irish welcome. So, who we got on tonight? Have we had anyone in the chat identify themselves? Right, we're going to have to turn this. We're going to have to turn this. Right. Um, I, know, I know the view's not as good there as it is of the harbour. This is a nice... Right, so let's have a look. Hi, Michael and Steph says... Right, give me your phone so I can read the chat up there instead. What have you discovered? I've discovered that... That I'm, you're no good at talking I'm when I'm not horrendous. here. Yeah, that's horrendous. right. I'm just standing like... Standing? I'm sitting actually. Did you tell them that you've been drinking? Right, so did you tell him the point? Uh, find me a YouTube because your phone's all weird. No, it's not. So have you told him the point of this today? Yes, we're going to hear him into being silent. So just to reiterate, because you probably told it rubbish, we're going to do as part of our features that we've been doing on a Tuesday where we sit down live with you, we're also going to do an out and about in Tenerife feature, which gives us a great excuse to get Granddad fix it. That's my, that's my dad. Granddad, because he, he's a builder. Granddad fix Nothing to do with Jimmy Savile. Let's stop the accusations before they before they start. His granddad fixes it to our babies because he fixes everything. When their toys break, he fixes it. If something breaks in our house, he fixes it. And that's all that is. So it's a good excuse for us to get granddad. Hey, Mary. It's a good excuse for us to get granddad babysitting the children while we get out. And 
have a sneaky little drink. Mm. Oh, thank you. So what we're going to do tonight on our out of talking, moaning that she's away. We could have moaned at her, that would have been fine. So what we're doing tonight is we're out and about in Tenerife. This evening we are in Sky Bar yep. in Porta Colon. I don't know if any of you know that. I'm going to turn the camera around with some terrible camera work just for a moment to show you the view, the palm trees, and there you have the sea and the beach. Uh, the weather is 29 degrees right at this second. It's not, it's not nice. We have, yes, we have a sandstorm, so it's, uh, it's very difficult at the moment. And while we're here at Sky Bar, we are going to be having an eye on some of the entertainers around Tenerife. And tonight we'll be keeping an eye on a, a very popular entertainer and singer and a friend of ours. We're going to be having a little sit down in about, what, 10 minutes or so with Simon Roberts. So I don't know how many of you know Simon. He sings in obviously Sky Bar, he sings in the Soul Suite, among other places. Um, he'll be singing Paddy O'Kelly's when they open again, the Irish Oak, he sings in Chili's. Um, so there are places you can find him, but I'll get him to tell you about that when he comes. He'll have a little sit down, do a little 20 minute interview with us. Um, the same as I did for Rick and Shelley at the night out. And then I'll take a little break and then start another stream just dedicated to Simon. And you can watch him perform live. So we've got a show, another show for you tonight. Not just us two rabbiting on, drinking and getting well, you more. Rabbiting on, I clearly can't Me stop. rabbiting on, Steph sort of pouting at the camera. Has she done that yet? Who, who does the better pout? Go on. Now come into competition. Apparently I pout all pout. the time. The kids tell you. The kids, I don't pout. The kids tell you. I sit here normally and I get told, Mum, stop pouting. Stop pouting. Oh no. So yeah, we'll we'll get to know you'll get to know Simon and then you'll get a little bit. I'm not sure what he's doing tonight. He does two genres of music really. He sings the soul and Motown in one collective, but he also plays the guitar and he sings rock and things like that. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, Mummy's in the house. Stella's on. And I've just read what she said. So, uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to get from Simon tonight. But you've got us for a little while. Then an interview with Simon. And then we'll be riffing. And then Simon will be doing a show. So let me take some of these comments in the chat. Uh, De Silvers are here. Welcome, De Silvers. Stella's here. Uh, Raymond and Patricia. Hello, Michael. Nice to see you again. Likewise, Raymond and Patricia. Hi, this is a lovely surprise, says Lorraine Cartwright. Hi, Michael and Steph, says Julie Phelps. Uh, this is a, it's a nice surprise for you to go live tonight, says Raymond again and, and Patricia. Lovely to see your family enjoying the meal together at 360. Did you see that? That is a lovely place. It's a lovely it's place. It's really, really lovely place. To tell you the truth, we've never been there before, right? And it's only that our gym is next. I mean, can you tell we've been in the gym? I've been there. So, hang on. We've never been there. We've never been That's there. That's yeah. <sighs> We've never been we've never been there before. We came out of the gym and we searched nice places to eat near us, near near us now. And it was literally next door. So we went up there, it didn't look like it was open, it was upstairs, beautiful view, and then everything that we've eaten out. There. We've been about five or six times since we found it. Everything we've had there has been absolutely delicious. It's so and, oh, and, uh, it's beautiful. Oh, we might be able to get another guest on for two minutes. Yeah. Talk to the people in a minute. How you this here? So Talk to the people. Talking. Don't worry, read, ah, read the cheap read the chat. Who wants the words? We drink. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, girl. How are you? No tea tonight, Lindsay. No, Mum. I'm going to be a good girl and drink the wine. Then you'll really get me talking. <laughs> oh, I hate it when he does this. So, uh, Hayley is here. So, he's going to go see if he can get away with the satellite. So, let me see what I can do. Oh, gal. Right, Paul, Dorada. You and that drink, honestly. When you come here, I'll just get you a whole box to yourself. I'll get Adele red wine and some gin and everything else she likes. And we just have a really good evening. Right, tree surgery. Hello. Hi, tree. You pout. Mum, I don't pout. We are seriously going to have some talk from when we get back. Not drinking tea. Good evening. Do not go out with Stephanie. Don't make me tell that story, woman. Talk about him while he's gone, Steph. Look who we've got. We've got a little spe Hello. special guest in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Hayley Butler. I'm not sure how many of you know Hayley, but she's my partner in rhyme. Um, isn't she? Rhyme. Rhyme. We've sung together for many, many years. Say hello in the chat if you know Hayley. 
So I didn't know, but Haley's on first at Sky Bar, oh. and then Simon's going to be following her. But we're going to do a little feature later in the week in our next uh, Out and About Eye on Tenerife. We're going to be doing a feature on Haley. Is that all right? Absolutely. Yeah, so, so stick around for that later in the week. I'll give you some warning. I'll give Haley more warning than I just okay. did. And yeah, uh, just, 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 just spring it on her like I like to do on stage. And then uh, we'll do a feature on Haley later on. Both lots of shows. The Soul and Motown stuff that we do together, her stuff on her own, and the Queen of Rock, which is tonight's show, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got the Queen of... What, what are we here tonight? What sort of tunes are we going to get? Pink, White Snake. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi, Aerosmith. Brian, Brian Adams. Adams. So if you like your rock, I'll try and put a little bit of Haley on later on. But we'll feature her properly, probably later in the week or next week. So I just wanted to bring her over to say hello. Hello. And uh, I'm going to let her go and sit up now. So, see you soon, everyone. See you soon. Thanks for having me. So, that's our next guest. We're going to have another guest. Hayley is great. Love to be there tonight. So, what a lineup we've got. We've got Simon Roberts, followed by Hayley Butler, which is good news. But the bad news for us is we've got to fill uh, another hour talking nonsense until Simon's ready to come on. Because I actually thought, I actually thought, uh, and Steph doesn't want me to tell you this, but she's just wrote on the phone, don't leave me again because I don't know what to say. How did she do? How did she do while I was away? Tell me in the comments how she did while I was away. I just can't talk. Well, we've lost eight, we've lost eight watchers, so yeah. no, we haven't. Right. So what, what have we spoke about? Have you read out any of these comments? I have. Love, uh, talk about Paul and uh, Dorada. Uh, Mary's on time. Steph, you are so lovely. Oh, oh says the rain. Uh, hey, tree surgeon. Paulie Dean had Paulie D. Dorada, mate. Look, that's what we've got. Dorada. Oh. We Oh, look at this. Here's a face we know. Very good. So we're live. So move over. Yep. And let Simon get the middle, which, which has always been his fantasy. I know, I should have told him to spoke about him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. Can you squeeze in there for a sit down? And we'll try and frame all of us together. This is a good one. We're live. It's amazing. I like it. Oh, you it? Yeah, well, Marina Platt it. Yeah, I'll shift up so I can get in. Proper Viking style now. Proper Viking. Oh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we were just talking about him. I told you, you got to get in the shot, Steph. Uh, I just told you about that. Uh, we might have to move this back a little bit. So, can we... back. Where can we do it so we can all get in? Is that all right? Oh, well, yeah, I'll I think. Just I think... Here. I'm just going to hold it. Oh, so yeah, she. <laughs> so, so Steph's, Steph's just going to not be in the interview and just sit there drinking. <laughs> I can't talk anyway. So, so monkey. Whoa! There we go. You're taller than me. Oh, he's yes, he's a Viking. Yeah. He's, he's seven foot tall. So make sure you look at my step. Try and frame this for me while I'm rabbiting on. Here you go. Hey, hey but you can't get his forehead's not in it. Oh my. Oh. Look at him. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fantastic Simon Roberts, and this is our feature this evening. We are going to have an eye on Simon. So we're going to get to know him for a little while in the chat, uh, and then we're going to watch you perform in a little bit later. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Now, see, Simon told me he was on at ten o'clock. Well, I said I'd get here for 10, but with yeah, bamboo, I didn't, the with, Haley's on first. Yeah, but I've just realised now I've got to talk rubbish for an hour. Good luck. That's all right. No, <laughs> if anyone could talk nonsense for an hour, it's me. Right, I've, um, I thought we'd get into some of the things about you where I ask you your most personal and intimate questions. Where have you got them notes? Because I actually yes. wrote some questions down. Okay. So first of all, would you mind introducing yourself? You're not even in a shot. I don't know how we're going to do this. Can you not get lower? Okay. Right. I'm lower. This is brilliant camera work. Yeah, we've got it, we've got it. As you can tell, we're still amateur and we're yeah, learning. I'm Simon got. Roberts on, the, on a normal day. On a normal day, that's Simon normal, Roberts. Normal, normal so normal. tell us a little bit about you and, and what you do and, and how you've been here and so on. Well, yeah, well, I moved out here eight years ago, Tenerife. I was a waiter, I was a boat driver. Yeah, yeah. I drove a speedboat here in Port Colón. Yeah. yeah. And you was, a sing, was, you was a singing waiter here in Port Colón, weren't you? Yeah, because I started in Candy Lounge, which is just a bit further around from the, where we are now in Sky Bar. And um, yeah, I started there just pulling pints, waiting tables, and singing on the karaoke. When I, when I, yeah, so if I'm not wrong, yeah, you started. I was there. never a singer. No, yeah. no, you started waiting, and then you'd get up and sing, and people would go, "Wow, that's that's amazing! You should yeah, do this." And some of the other entertainers that were out on the island, they were like, "Oh, yeah, that sounds really good. I'll do this one. Oh, why don't you do this one? Do this one?" And that was the reason why they got me in touch because I was singing solo Motown. Yeah, that was the reason why. I was like, "Oh, sing a soul song, sing this." That they kind of coached me. To singing 
So at what point did you take the plunge and stop being a waiter and decide that's me, that's my profession now, I'm going to go out? It was, it was February, it was like six years ago now, but right. it was in February, I remember, because my first gig was in uh, was in the terrace bar for Andy, Andy Williams in, in Golf Del Sur. Andy Williams as in Vegas, Andy Williams. Vegas, yeah, like Andy Williams is like a he's a, like a swing singer, isn't he? Like Sinatra and oh no no, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, but it's Andy, Andy that owns the, the toast bar. Yeah, no, no, and uh, yeah, he's like my Tenerife dad. Like he gave me my first, he gave me my first gig here. And and what's your recollection of your first gig? Was it nerves? Oh, was it? Mate, I was like this. Really? I was holding the microphone like it was shaking everywhere. Really? Did, oh, you, did you remember and, and the I words was or sweating? Did you, did you get that thing? I, I remember some. Yeah, but when you're that nervous and you yeah. start singing a song, the first, before the words even start, you forget you're like, and go blank. Yeah, you're like. Yeah. How does it start? And How's then it start? just the chord before it comes back to you. Like muscle memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's strange. Yeah, yeah. It's strange. I, I still get that now. And when oh. I've been ill, I can't. He's done that to me. When I, he's uh, done that to me because he makes me sing on stage. And I said, I don't want to. So when I'm yeah. up there, I have to like, like a numbing. When the nerves get you, they get you. And they, and, and it, it, but after a few songs, you loosen up a little bit. And yeah. when, you, when you get a good reception, like when people, you see them enjoying themselves. Then you, you feed you, off the vibe. You can enjoy yourself yeah, a little yeah. bit more. Well, actually, yeah, I'll still now, if I do it. Like, if I'd like in Sky Bar, I don't get as nervous. You get a little bit nervous, you get the jitters, whatever you're going on stage. It sort of feels like home when you're here a lot, yes, though, doesn't it? But when you go to a new, new bar, bar, every time there's a new bar or new faces, I'm, I'm the same as I was it, six years ago. And, and I am, after around. all these years, it's unfamiliar. The mixing desk's unfamiliar. The people, the yeah. layout, the stage. You don't know what the speakers are, you don't yeah. know the sound, you don't know the staff, you don't know how you're going to be received. It throws you off a little. It does, yeah, every time. And, and I think that's good because it keeps you... Keeps, you, keeps you on your game. They yeah. say nerves are good, don't they? Mike Tyson, I'm a big boxing fan, Mike Tyson just say nerves uh, is like a fire. It, you, it will either burn you down, or if you control it, it will like fire your furnace. I'll see and, what you know. questions people have so, for Simon. Uh, in a minute, but I need to read them questions oh, off of here right, for, no our, for our little for our little feature on Simon. Um, yeah, even after the lockdown, I mean, I've done this a lot of years, as you know. But even after the lockdown, my first show back was at Calypso, and I couldn't remember a it single. Was I was so nervous on the way there. I was shaking. Actually, you I, I remember well. doing the, I remember doing the George in Santiago del Tigre. That was the same. I got up there and I was doing like. Some like Babylon, David Gray. You songs sing that I've back sang. to front, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, that... And I get on stage and I'm, I'm, going, I'm like, oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> and it weren't even the beginning. It was like I did the yeah. first couple of lines. It's like, oh no, where do I go? But it's me? not even oh, the first where, line. Where, where, it's where, every where line you blank and then it comes blank, yeah. then it comes blank. Yeah, and, and you've you got can... to try and poker face it until the words you've come. You've got to just yeah, trust yeah, that you're yeah, going to. Yeah, yeah, It's just going to yeah. come to you. Yeah, it's weird. But actually, that leads me on nicely to to Babylon. Is the song that reminds me of you. For Hyde Park, because you and I were lucky enough to sing together at Hyde Park yes. in London. Do you want to tell the folks that a little bit about it? That was a couple. Of, did we did two years in a yeah. Two years, yeah. yeah. Obviously, Michael's done a lot of years there. I, I did ten but, years there, but, but you, you and I. You put me in touch with the guy that wanted you to sing a gig, and and uh, you couldn't do it. You I had couldn't. A prior arrangement or something. And I couldn't go to Hamburg. And he recommended me recommended for this you. for the gig, and luckily, and the guy loved it. And it was Germany and Hamburg. Yeah, yeah, Hamburg. And, uh, and yeah, and he got me down there with you guys. And then. you so smashed it and did a great job. Oh, and then was, was invited the to the big stage at Best thing in Park. the world. So cold, but the best yeah, thing. Yeah, but it was cold. It was cold. And to be honest, we hated it while we were there because it was so cold and yeah. so hard work. Trying to wear gloves to keep your hands warm, but then the microphone's slipping because you're like, And you can't touch the iPad to change yeah, the song. Yeah, you can't change the song. You've got to take your gloves off to change the song and put back on to sing. <laughs> oh cold. my God, yeah. And you got oh. like scarves on, jackets. Two no. pairs of socks and boots. I, I, I started off there in wearing shoes with a suit. And eventually I was wearing the suit, <laughs> but with boots. boots. I just put boots long, long underneath Long oh, See, over that 10 just years, I've learned, I've yeah, learned like Long John's what? best t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I got some boots. Yeah, because window, you but... stood for hours on yeah. the stage. And you, you're not really doing anything. You know, you, you can move around a little bit on the stage, but it's not that big. But not only that, so you're, you're on a raised up stage. Yeah. The, oh, the wind So the wind catches you in the blow in High Park. In High Park, yeah, yeah. in High Park. I yeah. must admit, so when I, it was when that one year that I went with you two, it was really cold, and Michael had to end up getting me up on stage just to get near the heater. Well, you're but lucky you I had heaters because ours freezing. weren't working for the first couple of weeks. Was yeah. it not? No. Oh, God. So, moving on from your first gig and then oh. your first gig back, how about, I mean, you? I spoke to you, you were a little, I hope you don't mind me saying, when we were on our way to London, you were a little nervous because you hadn't sung in front no, of an no, audience of that. No, the first no. night, there was maybe 10,000 people there. No, How well, did, was more it than was that. Probably more, there maybe was more, more, more maybe 15,000, 20,000 people. How did you feel that first song <laughs> in, in Hyde Park? The first song, mate, I thought I was just going to pass out. It was like, <laughs> it was like I weren't even there. It was like an out-of-body experience. Like, I'm here now, I've just got to sing, and I just sort of imagined that I wasn't there. 
and just started singing. Just man. autopilot again. Yeah, it was. But like again, you get into it and you enjoy it. But then the second year we went, it was more like, oh, I know what I'm yeah. doing now. And it was, oh, you are the much amount more of people, the, the, the people, like, it's nice singing here, and you get like, oh, you could get a busy bar in the summertime, you might get 100 people, yeah, 20 yeah. people. It's in more the bar. intimate, though. Yeah, it's nice, but when you've got just a sea of faces yeah. looking at you, it's scary. And it's as but far it's as you can see, right? Yeah. It's as far but as you can see. It's exciting as yeah, well. I, I mean. just remember with you two. They're all there watching you singing to oh, yeah. them, and it's such a beautiful feeling. And you two were like, Stephanie, I need a Stein. I need a Stein. Big Stein, yeah. the, two pie, Stein. the two pint jugs of beer are always a perk for working. High Park was the first time I ever tried mulled wine as well. I never tried mulled really? wine. It's nice. I've in never the had mulled no, wine before. I don't before. like it until oh, it's do. that cold. <laughs> I love it. So how do we feel about how do we feel about mold wine and Christmas and things, guys? Because we're talking about Hyde Park and the Christmas vibe. Hi Rona. Yeah, the good oh you know Rona from the Soul Suite. So there's a few few of your fans on tonight that have come in. The the numbers are climbing and that's good. Um so that, that that was a great thing because we got to perform to lots of people. I remember one night we performed together and we were doing up tempo stuff and just as many people as you could see on a decking. We're jumping up and down the deck and we're bouncing. It. You could feel it moving. Yeah. So moving on from from when you were your humble beginnings, uh, working through the working through the through the bars here and reminiscing, and then up to Hyde Park. What are your sort of musical influences? What what is it? What are the people or the music that shaped your style as a, as an artist as a performer? Well, the, well this, like before, obviously, I started out. I did this solo Motown yeah. stuff, and then obviously got into the soul suite and we were you know we all worked together you've there. made a transition in the last couple of years this I think. is the thing yeah. because i was always heavy metal and rock i was always a metal head growing up i played guitar for years and this is why i once i sort of yeah the solo motor and love all the soul stuff doing what everybody likes me to sing but then i thought i want to do something a little bit more for me now you know and being a musician i wanted to show that i could play the guitar and and, and do different things and and Find the songs that people still want to hear that I also enjoy more. Yeah. I do love solo Motown music, don't get me wrong, but I'm a, I'm a rocker. Well, I mean, that, that's, that's me and, you know. That, that, that brings yeah. me nicely onto something I was going to touch on later on. You, you're, a, you're, a, you're a fantastic singer. I think you're, you're as good as anybody here. But not only that, you're, you're a musician, and I don't think you get enough credit for that. I know that you play the guitar, I know that you put a lot of time on that, but you also play the piano as well. I started learning piano, yeah, yeah about six months, seven months ago, uh, when the, the lockdown... I, I bought, before lockdown, I, I bought a piano because I wanted to learn classical. Um, and I, I started taking lessons at a Decky music school, and I had about six lessons before lockdown. Oh, well, at least so, so now I'm self-taught, just watching YouTube yeah, well, videos. Yeah, you're fantastic. I just watch YouTube videos and just copy what they're doing, where the fingers are on the video. I play it so I can play the piano, but I don't understand the music theory yet. Well, you this know, is, this is um, it, music? It sounds... I can read guitar music tablature. Nice. But as far as scales and, and all yeah, no, the musical hard. theory, I want to learn real that'll theory come, that'll because come. that'll help with music writing. Yeah. Well, we'll give links out at the end, but actually, if you go and have a look later on at Simon's Instagram, he actually has some clips of him playing playing the piano on here, playing the guitar, but we'll do the links at the end. While we're talking about social media, you've been somewhat of a TikTok sensation, haven't you? Oh, my God. Tell us about that. Right. That's Emma. That's, the, that's my good friend, Emma Flint. She looks after your social she media. She looks after the social media. Yeah, yeah, I got like 68,000 views on this. I was hiking, and I was just singing in the mountains. So tell us first yeah, of all, the, tell us first of all about the pastimes and, and, and what, yeah, what well, you hike, I did the hiking thing just to sort of get out and get fit, you know, I put some weight on with the lockdown. And um, oh, I, I was hiking with um, a friend of mine, Laura, and uh, we, we were going out hiking. And it was Emma as well, actually, that started the uh, this end-to-end -end run thing where we signed up to the Land's End to John O'Groats Challenge, which I still haven't finished. Uh, but that's 874 miles or whatever. But I signed up to another one in the meantime, which was Everest Challenge. You had That's to, right. Yeah, so you had to climb the equivalent height of Mount Everest and just you log it every day, you'd log your you log your elevation. So and you do it in increments across yeah. the days. So I climbed I climbed Mount TD here seven times, up, down, up, down, up, down. Seven, seven times to get the twenty thousand feet that I needed to equivalent climb Everest and I got a medal and a t shirt for it. So, so, so But while I was hiking, but while we were hiking Obviously, we were all we were going hiking and things like that. Obviously, you know, we'd all mess about, and I'd just sing some songs in the mountains because you get all the uh, you get all the echo, you know, because you're in the mountains and the valleys. So we were, I was just singing random stuff, and she was just filming me just singing random lines out of song. Take you to do the whole it's seven hours up and down. Seven hour hike. It's, it's a, 
It's about three. If you go to the peak of Wahara from Villa Floor, you get you're talking like four thousand feet, and it's twelve miles. You have phone reception up there, so if you got in trouble, in between you, you get bits that and pieces. That scares the life out of me. Yeah, that certain, scares certain me certain parts. So much. You'll do you'll do like you'll do like a mile and a half of, of nothing, and then you'll just get messages nope. come through after nope. a while. That's but, madness. Nope. But that's there are other walkers that you do see that. That do, I, I you pass you pass people on the way. Yeah, you do. And is there people. a path you stick to? Yeah, there's a path that oh, you follow. Okay. Yeah, there's paths, and, and they've got the, they've got the yellow and white markings and the red markings for different routes and things like that. So if you see a helicopter going around Tenerife, they're, oh, they're trying to find Simon. Yeah. 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 You did actually. That reminds me of a story. You did nearly fall recently, or with the girl you was with, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was Laura. Laura, Laura slipped on the Los Gigantes cliffs. Yeah. And that's oh 300 feet straight down. We did Los Gigantes and we swear we'd never do it again. I'll actually see because if I can put was, some of the it pictures. It was scary. It was, yeah. I'll put I'll some of your pictures up to put, I'll yeah. send some you can put on the, on the on the link or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, you literally, if you slip, you, 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 you're going to die. I yeah. Mean, we, we did it <laughs> because, when we, because when we, we got so far, we didn't realise what we were getting into. And by the time we got so far down, it was just as dangerous to try and turn around and go back than to just carry on. You had to yeah. actually scale the side of the cliff. Yeah. And no, get over. Scale the side. Of, we had to scale the side of a cliff, go over and down the other side, and, and literally it was like sheer drop. It, you you had about a foot, a foot and a half, or like that to walk, and you had to sort of shimmy across sideways oh, across the rock face. So something for Krypton. And if you slip, you, 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 I don't, I, it makes me cringe to talk thinking about. So that. so oh, that. Oh, I'm like, that you've done it. Yeah, I, I have the experience. But it's always the what if. Yeah. The what if. I'm not going to do it again because what if I slip next time? Laura oh. slipped a little bit and she she stopped herself. But one of her legs went down the side of the cliff and the other leg she, she sort of stopped herself. She nearly went. So that's the background to the past time. So why are you a TikTok? Why are you a TikTok sensation? What are these videos? What? They're just 30 second clips of me just singing when I'm in the mountains or oh, so driving singing. in the car or so, I just sit in my living room and do 30 second clips. So, like, so you've been the singing waiter, the singing boat driver, and now you're the singing, singing hiker. hiker. The singing Viking. The singing Viking. Yeah, the singing Viking. The Viking, yeah. the, the Viking, the hiking Viking. Yeah, that's it, the hiking Viking. Singing, ah. singing hiking Viking and some of that. They've got on the comments, yeah. Like, comments. On the, on the sparkles, so. sparkles. <laughs> you gotta tell that you wanna tell that story? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> he was also a drag act for a while. That's what he was. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Uh, so what how would you how would you describe your sound? I mean I sound like a rough. I'm, no, I'm you're not. More of a, oh raspy. Yeah, I'm I'm right. I like I like and I like it, you know, rasp rough. Blues, blues, like Very so bluesy. Scary. So bluesy rock. When I think of you, I think of Joe Cocker. Is that yeah, fair? Like Joe Cocker, Chris Stapleton, kind of mm, uh, gruff, you know. Actually, like... you come walking over singing Unchained My Heart, didn't you? No, that was it, yeah. Yeah, Joe yeah. Cocker was yeah. playing, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, if, yeah. if, if you, there was a gun at your head and they said, you got to sing a song for me now, impress me. What's your thing, tune? What's your banker? I've got my opinion on I've yours. I've got my opinion. I won't wait a minute and we'll see if that's the same. Well, I, just like one spice. One song. You, oh, here's a gun. Quick One Simon. song. Quick Simon. <laughs> it, impress me. Impress me. Show your voice off and impress me with the dynamics, with the feeling, oh, yeah, with the vocal. Come on to you. It would be Chris Stapleton, I think. It would be Chris Stapleton. I have a Tennessee whiskey on starting well, off. Well, I would have. I would have uh, gone. I would have had two in my shortlist. Chris Stapleton, Tennessee whiskey. The other one would have been human. Human. Oh, Ra Ragged Bowman. Bowman. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Ragged Bowman. So if it's so fits it. If it's, if it, if it's so Again, he's got a deep, raspy, raspy, raspy yeah. sort. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of, yeah, yeah my that's your thing. Style. That's my that. style. So yeah. if, it, if it so fits later on in your show, will you do both of those? I'll do them both. People? Yeah, I'll do, I'll, I'll do both. So you've got yeah. Rona. You know Rona from the Soul Suite. I know Rona. So yes, you're saying that's fire. Uh, and that is your sort of sound. Uh, any other acts on the island that you admire? I know there's a lot of rubbish here. I know you don't mind saying that. And you I don't mind like, saying there's a lot of, a lot of rubbish. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a lot of rubbish. There is a lot of rubbish. But, I mean, oh, don't worry about that, Michael. Yeah, I'm trying to be, yeah, you, you, try, you, try and, you try and say live and let live. Don't, don't. No, no. But, 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 but what, the one thing I always say is if you couldn't drive a car, you couldn't be a taxi driver. If you couldn't fly a plane, you couldn't be a pilot. So why do people that can't sing become singers? Uh, Gail's on, Gail Wood. She loves you singing. Hello, Gail. Human. Hello, she my darling. You human. Yes, human. I love human. So, uh, so, but so, yeah, but it's like, do you know there's, there are a few. Just say it as it is, says Anne. He always yeah, does. Yeah, exactly. He exactly, always does. I do. And, and well, one of them behind us, Hayley. Hayley. We've got Hayley behind us. She's a wonderful. She's singer. phenomenal. Yeah. And I've just introduced them to Hayley. We're going to do a, a feature on Hayley later in the week. Mm. But you were the first. You're our first feature in Ion 
Tenerife artists. Oh, so, I need some sparkles now. Yes. Yeah, need some sparkles. 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 Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I I have I have different tastes in singers. Like people that that people don't always think of like. I know when, when Charlene and Cora did the ABBA thing. You did say and, you like that. Yeah, yeah. And Cora, I love Cora and Charlene's voice. Shout out to Cora because she was in a, an oh, awful way. I know, yeah, she was, yeah. Oh, an awful but for me, it's like, yeah, it's like, I, I, Hayley's got such a massive, powerful she's voice. She's got phenomenal. Massive, 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 she's yeah. got a massive pair of, <laughs> of, um, of lungs. songs, of lungs, <laughs> lungs, 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 yeah, yeah, lungs. Singing, yeah, yeah, exactly, that's it. Yeah, a beautiful yes. big pair of lungs. Yeah. You can't take your eyes off them. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's but it's like, yeah, but just certain I just spoke I don't know, for me it's little things in voices, not like it's just little tiny little, little quirks or little ways a of tone, people sing. A tone or, yeah, tone. So and it's yeah, so like for me like people say, Oh Charlene and Cora, like, oh I, I never realised you like them so much, but no. yeah, but they're like my two of my favourites. You sure that's, and, and sure like, that's the only reason? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, okay. Right. Well, the fact I love ABBA helps. Oh, ABBA, of course. I do love ABBA, but no, no but see, I mean, we're singing, when they sing, well, they're not singing, not singing ABBA or anything. But yeah, we're and, getting and, a... and another one, right? Yeah. A very, very, I think, underrated singer, Indiana McDonough. Mm. Oh, Indiana's voice. That. I've yeah. always said that. Always so said I that. worked with Indiana when she was a compere at Barkin area, and I heard her sing, and I was like, damn, girl. I was like, what are you yeah. doing as a compere? What are you doing? Got, yeah. And I've actually, she does a very good pink tribute. And I was going to say something a little earlier when you were talking about your taste in music. You remind now this is going to catch your goal. You remind me of pink. And it's mainly the dresses. No, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It reminds me of Pink because Pink signed to her record company and they made her do R&B. And it wasn't the music she loved. So her first album was You Make Me Sick and all that. And there you go, looking pitiful. But she hated it. So yeah. she told them, if I make a second album, I'm, I've had enough of singing what the people want. I want to be a rock I... chick. And she started doing rock. So, and she went and then she it. blew up yeah, then she blew exactly, up yeah. that, so, that was kind of my thing like i wanted to do the guitar i wanted to do something for me a little bit yeah you know it's like it's all right to do the job i love the job but if you keep singing what everybody else wants to sing, oh, and you don't I indulge do yourself well. just a little bit it becomes a job and then it becomes sure. rubbish yeah do you know well, that? I, I want to do what i love and i love music and i love to play music as well as sing music i say that on stage you know? i i have a, like you very very wide diverse repertoire if i sang the same 10 songs like some of them do yeah. every night i would crash myself into a fence because it would drive me mad no? it would mate come yeah. on it would like, even the amount i do i still feel like it's i need like to refresh it a lot of the a lot of the tribute artists on this island they get a better deal because they're a tribute and you know, they know what you're getting. getting. Yeah. So they get a little bit more work than we do. It's easier for them in, in some ways. But If it's not working, how are you going to flip it up? Well, yeah, if it's not, but if people are in there to watch that tribute, they know what they're getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of times I've been booted out of a bar. Oh, we're, we're going to put, we only want tributes, mate. We only want tributes. So I, I've, oh, I've been on the receiving well, end of that so many times. Any, oh, we only want tributes. Any bar that gets rid of you. What, what do you do? I do a bit of it. Literally yeah. a bit of it. Shame. shame. Come and do shame, Steph. Lean in. Any in bar that gets rid of Simon. Shame. shame. Come and do it. Shame. 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 <laughs> I think we do have babies, don't ask. Uh, oh, you, you've got one of it. Not at our children, not at our children. No, it's but, but, right, so yeah, so sometimes they get a bit, a bit of an easy deal because they know what they're doing. It's the same songs. But, you know, they're out to learn hundreds of different songs. That, you know what you're getting with yeah. them, but at the same time, I do feel bad for them because They're if you're doing a tribute, you're stuck, stuck. You're stuck in that yeah. tribute, aren't you? Well, there I mean? are some cracking tributes here. Well, Simon's one. Well, there are some great tributes, yeah, but it's just like, I couldn't personally do those same songs every day. No. I couldn't. No, I when a mean. new song comes out and I really like it, I want to sing that new song. Yeah. yeah. So what are you learning at the moment? Any any new songs you've added to your repertoire in the last couple of weeks, months? But yes, uh, but I'm, cause I bought the electric guitar, didn't I? I got the Gibson. Oh, yes, that's so right. I'm yeah, doing, yeah. I'm putting together a rock show, so, a proper rock show. With not, I play my acoustic guitar, but I'm doing a proper rock show. Yeah, White Snake. Electric Here guitar. I go again on my own. White Snake, Gary Moore, things like. Out in the fields, isn't it? Things like that. That's a tune. And a line out and a yeah. game out in yeah, yeah. the fields. That yeah, is yeah. a tune. Yeah, and Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Thin yeah. Thin Lizzy. Oh, Boys are back in town with like the guitar will you give us, and ears. Will and you give us a bit of Ozzy Osbourne no, no. and bite a bat's head off on stage? <laughs> 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 yeah, we could do a bit of that and a bit of Zach Wild. Yeah, yeah, do a bit of Ozzy. Brilliant. A bit, a bit of Crazy Train or Paranoid. Well, like for sure, Simon's one of the one of the, the top and most well thought of and talented artists here. But Simon, next question. Next question. Who's the most talented person you've, you've, 
Hang on a minute. Who's the most talented person you think you perform with? No, no pressure here, mate. <laughs> he's got the he's got the knife in my room. <laughs> okay, but, but, mate, but, you know I looked up. I got it, but I got it, but I got it, but knackers. He knows I always looked up to him, and when I first started out, he was the guy I was going to bars to watch to get ideas. That's true, get, actually. I, yeah, and I yeah, remember yeah. the time because I was in Dreamers, Dreamers bar. bar. Yeah, it was Dreamers bar, and, and, I, and I just sat in the bar going, "Fuck me." I say, I've got some work to do. You, that's what you said to me. I said, what that's did you think? You that, went, that, I've got I, I did swear that night. But I, you, I was like, I've got some work. But to you do. have done some work <laughs> and you have evolved. You said a bad word. You have, you have, you have done, you have done. <laughs> Sorry, some, guys. You, you have, you have put the work in and you have evolved. We're talking now about acoustic guitar, electric guitar, piano. Since I first met you, your repertoire has grown exponentially. When we had the first year at Hyde Park, you were a little concerned about doing three 45 minute sets. The second year, you was able to do yeah, that easily. I was thinking, if do we I were to do it, if we were to do it again now oh, I, th I think mate, you yeah. probably wouldn't repeat a song all week yeah i think it'd you've be definitely nice. it'd be not, yeah, it's yeah like learning the new songs is uh simon new, loving the hair stop pinching him michael yeah uh we're yeah, the hair, it's thank cracking you. isn't it so, so, my viking my proper viking that's his little ponytail it's getting long now it's getting really long um, I that once, it was so we're, we're, what we're gonna Skull. do Skull. so what well, there's a little nordic theme here with you being a viking and loving abba yeah yeah there's there a little nordic theme and obviously, you know, I've got, I've got the, the lighter skin, the, you know. Did you like that picture yeah. I sent you earlier? Oh, you met a character. Me and the kids, me and the kids. Mate, that's the kid, uncanny. The kid, that's the kids. Uncanny, I, I wonder mate. if I can get it oh, I, oh, it's on my phone, which is on there. He swore, he swore then. He's like, oh, yeah, he yeah, what did I say? You said the F word. You dropped oh, the F bar. Ah, bollocks to it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. So here's I'm what I'm going to do. Such a good girl <laughs> I've got a couple more questions for Simon, and then I'm going to give him some quick fire questions and try and put him on the spot. And then I'll let you guys ask any questions you want to Simon. We'll take some questions from the chat. Is that all right? Okay. But don't worry, I'm, I'm going to be kind, right? So the next thing I've got you is. Don't trust him. That face is it all. <laughs> so since we've come out of lockdown and things are slowly, slowly starting to open, what are your personal goals? I know we've got the learning the piano, learning the acoustic the rock show, but I want to write my own songs. Have you heard my one that I've just put out there recently? Oh no, I did see it on the, I'm yeah. banned from Facebook, so oh, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to click on links. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll I've show you. I've 22 more, 22 more days banned on Facebook. Why, what did so you I do? I can't even go, I was, all, well, I was swearing, but my mate, we were having banter. We were swearing at each other on, my, on a private thread, not in a public forum, it was my own, yeah. it was our own thread. You can't even banter with your mates on your own Facebook. Nazi book. Nazi book. Yeah. So that's, a, that's something that I'm, I'm doing. I'm, I'm going. I'm phasing Facebook out. I'm getting away from it. Yeah. I'm going to do the, the, the TikTok is, and the Insta because you can go live on those platforms. And I mean, I was only I've only been on TikTok for like six weeks or something, and I've got like two and a half thousand followers. So many people, more people engage on that TikTok. It's weird. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Hundreds of comments, thousand, seventeen thousand likes or something on the videos, and I never. I don't get close to that on Facebook. I've been. I've had my Facebook page. I've had for like. Five years and I've got like 2,400. And actually I'm the same, I'm trying to get rid of Facebook because you and I had the same problem. When we were, when we were locked down here, and it's still slow here, um, I was going to come on to this in a moment. We both once a week do a live, but I've ended up having to not do my live on Facebook because I keep exactly. getting muted. Yeah, but exactly. tell, muting stuff and, so yeah, tell the people, you actually, they can, it's ridiculous, man. Actually, they can catch your live, can't they? So give us our links, social media. Well, yeah, you can catch, well, on no. the Facebook, I can't go live for another 20 days. Yeah, yeah. I'm still banned. But in, I've, I've, got Insta, I've got Instagram, Simon <laughs> Roberts, Simon Roberts Tenerife. It's the same name as Facebook, but it's on Insta. So what day do you normally go live? I was doing Wednesdays. So why don't you, on when next Wednesday, why don't you go live from my channel and put your PayPal link up so these guys can see it and you can redirect your fans and followers because because you don't have Facebook. So at the moment... On your, what, I can go live from yours? Yes, come to my house. Oh, right, okay. Use yeah. my equipment with your eye rig. It all sounds professional. You can plug guitar oh, in okay. or whatever and you could do a live and earn some money and then these people oh, will see wicked, you yeah. and anybody you send the link to on your, you know, on my I'll Facebook. send the link to mine to go to yours uh, yeah. to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah, I'm saying, why, don't, why don't you do that? So just give us TikTok, Instagram, where they yeah, can well, find on, you. Yeah, on my TikTok videos is Simon Roberts Singer. Okay, no, and Simon okay, Roberts, yeah, Simon yeah. Roberts yeah, Singer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, please. Can yeah, Simon Max? Roberts Singer on TikTok. And Simon yeah. Roberts Tenerife. And Simon Roberts Singer on Instagram, because Emma's got me on Instagram, and I've got my own Instagram. You're a personal one of business. They're both technically business, right. but I run, I have one of them, and, and I just put random stuff Mary on Mary Simpson saying, oh, Simon, please do it. We want to like. Okay, yeah. next next okay. week then, next week. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll come up, we'll do it. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll plug it on the... On, obviously, I can't put it on Facebook. Maybe Emma can do it on, I'll, I'll on, put on it, my Facebook. I'll put it on Facebook for you just put Simon. It on my wall yeah, or yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it on Would Simon. anybody be interested in watching Simon's live video? If you're not, 
you wait until you see this guy sing in the second part of the show. You will be. That's good. Right. I'm going to I'll throw some silly questions at you now. Oh, We're like, no, I'm not going to be bad. We were messing about earlier, actually, by text. I told him some of the questions I'm going to ask, but I'm not going to ask that. <laughs> so uh, we've got JJ saying, make sure you hit the like button, guys. Share it. And uh, afterwards, we're going to share this around so all Simon's followers and fans can watch it. And we'll try and get him some more traction over to his live shows and try and build up a following for him. So we're going to do some live questions, but be prepared. Get your questions ready, because I want you to interact with Simon and see what you want to ask him. So first of all, uh, favourite alcoholic beverage? Oh, it's got to be my Budweiser. You like a bit of it's bud. always a Bud, mate. I know you, you, you do like a shot on stage. Yes, a Jaeger bomb. Yeah, Jaeger. If I'm having a shot, it's a Jaeger Should we order a couple of them? Yeah, I'll, I'll get a, get a couple of them away back. Yeah. Steph, two Jaeger bombs. <laughs> yes, unless you want one. A couple of Jaeger bombs for the live. <laughs> so it's, only, it's only for the live, isn't it? I'm only being professional. Uh, mm -hmm. Right, so I know you've been in the gym lately. You've been on a bit of a, like me, you've been on a bit of a yes. self. Yeah, yeah, I love that kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah, like getting healthy again was nice. The hiking started it, you know, the setting the challenge. And then after that, my friend who's a personal trainer. Yes, yeah. He, he came to, he came from We've been having a car haven't we? From, yeah, from Slovakia, yeah. he came over. And uh, he lives with me now. So obviously he's making food, he's showing what to eat. I train you with, sent me pictures of I that, the, with the him. big tray of potatoes and the oh, chicken. Oh, God, yeah. yeah, and the food that he's cooking. I mean, he, he does the meal plans. It's all going to go wrong, naughty boys. The Jaeger yes, shots are coming out. the Jaeger's coming Come on, out. join us. What are we all drinking tonight, by the way, in the chat? Yeah, what are we having? Uh, are so we? How are you, John? You've been on a fitness Jim. journey, and as good as, as good as it is to be on a fitness journey, cheat days. What's your cheat meal? What's your go-to oh, cheat meal? Oh, mate, it's KFC every oh. time. I can't, uh, it's just... I don't crave Burger King, I don't crave McDonald's, but I crave that What's your, what's your KFC I order? I crave that chicken. If we're in KFC now, I what's your order? A double BBC. It's like yeah, a yeah. Double Where chicken bacon, double chicken bacon Wait, cheese. Or in the one in Shapiris. Yeah. I think that's American, Sal. That's Shapiris. Less America's is better. Go in there, Shapiris double right. BBC, and you've got to get that gravy. You've got to get the gravy. Oh, yeah, now, Jane, Jane, we don't have the Zinger, we don't have Zinger burgers here. No, they don't that's do that. the problem. You yeah. have a tower burger, but they don't have Zinger sauce. Thank you, sir. Thank so you I've always much. asked, they don't do Zinger sauce, so you can't have a Zinger sauce. No. Cheers, <laughs> mate. So that's the cheat meal, KFC. Uh, so double BBC chips. Oh, yes, last fries. Coke. Pepsi. 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 Yeah, Pepsi. Do you Pepsi, get, do you yeah. get uh, popcorn chicken on the side? Do you get a side? No, or wings I get, I or get gravy. Th they call it tres alitas. It's like three wings, three hot three wings. wings. Three hot wings. I get the three hot wings on the side. Every single time it's the same. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. So, so if you had the power. Yes, you've said that before. Yeah, you went so, just chicken and rice. Oh yeah, tell us yeah, about chicken and rice, chicken and rice. I want to train, trying to lose the weight. Chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and so rice, chicken and rice. Tell us about, tell us about your habits. Is it compulsive behaviour? Are you a little OCD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm as if, well, I, if I'm cleaning yeah, the kitchen, stupid things like when you put the bottles at the back of the sink and the glasses in the cabinet. Do you have all your My, my chopping board's got to be perfectly level with the side of the counter. You know, it can't be. Yeah, it's, I'm a little bit OCD, yeah. So I'm clean, Things like that. But with Michael, it's him with washing his hands. Oh, anything. No. He gets his hands sticky. I'm not really, no, yeah, I'm not really one for that. Michael, like, because I work on cars, yeah, don't yeah. I? I get caked in, in, in muck. Yeah. I work on cars, I do like, grease and muck. So that, for me, it's not a clean thing. It's, it's a symmetry thing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. Everything has to be lined up. If, if I have like two bottles, you know, the two, bottles two, have got to be. So if you've got, uh, if you've got cans of beans and stuff in your. In your uh, yeah, you got to line them up. Do you line them up later? Line them up, line what about, up, yeah. what about yeah. towels? Are you the same with towels in the bathroom? Yeah, they've got to be big on the bottom, going to the smaller ones at the top. Yeah. I can't have one in between. No, I can't. They've got to be in size order. Don't live with him. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. I'm oh very good. Man. Actually, yeah, I have, I have my weird things. I think we all do, don't we? I have my, I have my weird oh, things. Oh, thanks for staying around, Jane. Jane was going to go to bed, but she's got to stay around and have a beer oh, with us. Oh, go on, Jane. Ah, yeah, cheers, Jane. Treat yourself, cheers, darling. everybody. Yay. Now, I'm pouting. That's just stiff. I trim my beard as well, my mum. look very handsome. So, uh, I love this you, talked, you talked about your, uh, very nice, you talked about your, your pastimes and your hobbies. You've missed a massive one out. You alluded to it earlier. You're a bit of a grease monkey. You actually changed my brakes for me last week. Yeah, I lo love working on cars. I love, I love messing with cars. I'm not a mechanic, qualified or anything, but I know my way around a car. I, just for years, I've just messing about with them and practicing and just having an interest in them. You know, I rebuilt, I rebuilt my two motorbikes that I had, I rebuilt them from the ground up. Hey, yeah. I had a KTM 450 that I rebuilt. Oh, Kawasaki Ninja. Oh, Loved it. My, my friend, ninja. Up, my, my friend, daddy. my friend Palmer had a Hayabusa. 
I've oh, never really? seen a faster bike. I was in the car. Yeah, you and got I could, one point for you, you? 1,300 air boosters. I, no, could, I could hear him coming and he went past me like a blur. Mm. And people turbocharge him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, really? Yeah, 300 braking. Oh, I really, oh, no. really, really yeah. want to get my motorbike license. Air boosters are ridiculous. And he said no. That's so cool. let, let me move on because I want to give the guys in the chat some time with you before you got to go and set up. So Sorry, we'll if, you had, if you had the power, if you had the power. Oh, pal's here. Hi. Beautiful, clear. Do you want to be on? Do you want to be on camera, dear? She don't want to be on camera with her beautiful teeth. She's got a. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing? Hey. No, no, no. Uh, so, if you had the power, world peace or world famous? World famous. World, world, famous, world peace is a myth. Well, there, will never ever, there will never ever be world peace. So what's the point? I might as well be famous. I might as well be famous. I might as well be famous because world peace will never happen. Like no, thank you, darling. I would love for world peace to happen. I really would, but it won't. Yeah, it's not. Here's pal. It's Sell not, out, pal. It's not ah. human. Look at them teeth. Look at them pearly whites. <laughs> Showing us all up. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful, girl. <laughs> I, I didn't get it. Then it gets to you, man. Have a good night, everybody. She'll, she'll come and look after you in, hey. the, in the sky. But where are you from Jeez. originally? In Scotland. Scotland. Um, faith. There's more to life than faith. More to life than. Faith. Oh, and bananas. There's going to be a lifer than a faith bag. Hey. Where the bananas come from? No. That's here. It's oh, it's a straight Jaeger. Uh, That's here. What, what, straight, yeah, what do you miss about home? Do you miss the food about home? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, I do. Do you miss that? I give it a hug. It's a battered bars. Yeah, yeah, baby. Or do you like the Portland <laughs> pies? <laughs> or the macaroni pies? No, I can't have both of them. You do, but I'm not a fan. We have Stephen's Bakers. They have oh, like Stephen's Bakers, yeah. I'm about to sing. Yeah, I do. Like, you don't have Stephen's Bakers. No. Yeah, I do. I'm in Scotland. Wicked. That is a bit of me. We've got Scotties. He's on drive. Yeah, oh, no. I don't know what it is. Iron, iron proof. Yeah, but they don't, they don't oh. have the normal iron brew anymore in Scotland. No, they it's not changed the recipe, isn't it? The yeah. other day, at Tasker, I'm trying for the first time a haggis bar. It's Jaeger and iron brew instead of Red Bull. They call it a haggis bar. I'll give that a go. And it's good. We'll have one next. Have you ever had a bucky bar? No, what's that? Buckfast. Buckfast, make sure. Buckfast. Buckfast. Oh, Buckfast. Oh, Buckfast. Oh, Buckfast. <laughs> <laughs> That's our lovely Claire looking after us tonight. So, so if you come and visit Sky Bar, you make sure you come and see Claire. She'll look after you. Cheers. Uh, right, here we're doing our shots. Oh, I sweat on here. This car. What's that? Roasting me. Where's your one? It's about to go down. Cheers. Down, down. Yeah, you go. Really? Oh, it's gonna be awful. Cheers. Oh. It's neither. It's neither Colgate it's a... or Oral B. It's a trip to Turkey at about three grand. <laughs> Where them teeth come from? Oh. Right. So, <laughs> So, next question. Uh, next question, uh, Simon, once you pulled your funny face. A million pounds or a million followers? Uh, I'm spoiled. Oh, that's a tough one. It's good, isn't it? That is a good one, yeah. I'd like the followers to be able to share. If I had a million quid and I was in and out on my own, I wouldn't enjoy it that much. No, no. A million followers to share content with and chat oh. to and engage with. People, people bring more happiness. Than that them. leads me to the next question. Five wishes of five true friends. Oh. Oh. And we're going to ask everybody who does this feature these same questions. Oh, yeah. Everyone's, the fact that you've just said that, everyone's going to be like, They're going to be right, thinking about it now. But he hasn't had a chance to think about it. Yeah, no. You can't, you can't put a price on friends. You can't know. No. But like, who would you say was a really good friend? The, 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 the one, who would you say was a really you, good friend? You, to you? The only thing is, like, because obviously, when you've lost a family member, if you had a wish and you could like wish to see them again yeah, or yeah. speak to them again, that's the first thing I thought of, like my mum. Because you, like, you lost if, your, I, if I had a wish to see my mum, you lost again. your mum four, or five years ago, right? Yeah, it's five years. Yeah, ago yeah, yeah, five now. years ago. So, so like for that, that kind, that is like a tough one because. Yeah, you know, if I can't, you can't do that. Whatever wishes can't, you can't bring uh, people back. I, I so don't it think it would be the, it would the fight if you could have five true friends for the rest of your life. That's great. You could thing. always depend on it, always yeah. have your back. That, that, yeah, it would be different. And I don't think if you could have your mum for another you 24 can... hours, I don't think there's anything you'd rather have than that, is it? No, so there, there is... isn't. If I, if I had one wish, and it would be, if you like, like you could, you know, the yeah. time well, I'd, again, I'd be or... the same with my granddad, who's yeah, actually really like happy. But otherwise, but otherwise, yeah. your friends, your friends are. Your friends are what keeps you together. He's a good man. He's a man of morals. He's a good man. Oh, so now I'm, I'm up in, I'm up in, I'm up in the increments on oh. on the difficulty of the questions. No, no, I'm not gonna, be, I'm not gonna be, Michael. I'm not gonna embarrass him. I'm not gonna embarrass him. I'm not gonna embarrass him. I'm gonna ask him a difficult question. Ready? Are you, are you in the shop, Simon? Let's get him close here. We need some, uh, we need some sound effects now. Dream woman or dream car? <laughs> <laughs> Because that's a difficult one. 
because I know you're mad about your cars, and I know, I know, I know you're you you you're happy. You're at the stage now where you want to say it like that. And he loves his women. I love. If there's any women out there that fancy a date, please write to to www.simonroberts. If I could have my dream woman that had my dream car. I'm a dream woman that has Who's a... Who's your dream woman? Who's your dream celebrity? Who's your celebrity crush? Jennifer Lawrence. What if Jennifer Lawrence? Jennifer Jen- Lawrence. I love... Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, my God. If John- Jennifer Lawrence turned up in a Subaru... I would die. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still your dream car? Because you had that... I just sold it, yeah. I just so sold let, it. let me tell the story. Just, let me, just if, I may, if, I, if I may. Yeah, you can. So yeah. Simon and I have worked... You know, you better drink that one. Simon and I worked very hard at High Pass. I was obviously saving the money to pay for family. Simon, as a single man, had his heart set on his dream car. He worked and worked and worked. Worked in Germany, worked in the UK, worked in Tenerife, did high Park, saved his money up. And how many years ago? Three? Two years. Two years two, ago. Two years ago. He oh, finally yeah. bought his dream car. It was a Subaru, and I'm crap with cars. What type it of was Subaru? a Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Racing. With like the a, Hawkeye and, and all the, all the, the stickers, stickers there. there. It was like a rally replica. He bought his dream car, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if he wants me to say, during this lockdown, things have got so bad for all of us, he's actually had to sell his dream car to keep a roof over his head and food in his belly. So if you if you appreciate that and the sacrifice he's made, when, if you can get over to his lives and throw a few quid in the pot, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Because, because well, I don't want to embarrass him, but he's, look, like me, people in Tenerife, entertainers, we've sacrificed almost everything we have, right? And they're still not letting up. They're still not giving us... Any let up? No, we're just, so, we've just been told we're still in level two. And we're still, we're we're still we're in level two tonight. Three. They're we're talking, they're three. talking about putting us in level three because apparently the cases have spiked, which is another. Do you want to tell your story about the rubbish numbers oh, or not? Oh, mate, yes. Apparently, I've just had COVID. But tell, tell the story. Out of three tests, I had two negative. So, no, tell it, so tell it properly. Monday, you went to the GP. Right. So I went to the doctors. I said oh, I've got a bit of a tight chest. Um, you know, and no I've got cough. a bit of a temperature, no cough, no, no loss no of loss smell, smell taste, no diarrhea, no throwing up, all these things, that, all these signs that apparently are apparently COVID. So I went to the, I said, look, I've got a temperature and I've got a bit of a bad chest. I've had a chest infection before in my life. I actually, you asked same. me, you asked me the day before, what do you think of this? Yeah, because I thought, oh, I've just got a chest infection. No, anyway. I said, that's a respiratory tract infection. I get it three times a year. Now, and I told and you're you. you're not the only one. Right, listen to I this. I told you the symptoms. So I went to the doctors and the doctors said, Oh, you've got a temperature and, and your chest hurts. That's the sign of COVID. We won't even see you. They wouldn't even let me in the building. So the doctors told me to go home and isolate after I've told them that I'm struggling to breathe. You had a, a chest bit. infection. Yeah. Now, two days later, I woke up in the middle of the night sweating. I couldn't breathe. I had to call an ambulance and go to the hospital. The hospital then did a test and told me I was negative and said I had a tract infection. And what, I had a chest And when infection. you asked the doctor, is this COVID? And she went, no. She went, you don't have COVID, otherwise I wouldn't be sat here right at the side of you talking to you. You'd be that's in a different part she, of the hospital. That's what, yeah, you'd be in a different part of the hospital. But she you'd took, had one the day before. And I'd had one, the, the, this was a couple of days before. They made yeah. me go and pay for a test because they wouldn't give me a test. So a test privately, a test in a hospital, both a negative. A test in a hospital, both negative. Now, the doctor sent me home from hospital and went, tomorrow, go to your doctor Gave, you the, right, gave you the right gave, gave me the right from the hospital and went, you don't have COVID, suspected Let chest infection. Talk. Sorry. So the next day, I go back to the doctors and the doctor said, no, we still won't see you because you need to go to Candelaria and get them to do a test instead. That's, that's the hospital at all. And listen. And, and I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I could. I had a temperature of 39.8 when I got to the hospital, and I drove myself to the hospital. They made me drive myself. 39.8 degree temperature. 0.5 degrees more, I would have been passing out. I would have been convulsing. And they made me drive to the hospital in Santa Cruz myself, and I couldn't breathe, and I was almost passing out because of my temperature. They put me on drips. They. I've still, I've still got the bruise on my wrist. Look. They just took all the needles in. Can you put it on camera? Oh, there, Full of bruises. All the bruises I still got from a week ago. That's not your good oh, arm. Nearly ten days ago. That's not your good arm, is it? <laughs> Stop. I always get told off. But anyway, so they did another test in Candelaria, and the third time was unlucky. I was so COVID positive. JJ says they refused to give him his jab because he had a cough, and he's done a negative test. Exactly. The problem is, I'm not... they don't want to help you. That's the problem. That they, they, they don't care. 
But they say they care about the health of the nation. They don't care because they sent me home without even testing me. You had two negative tests and then said you had a positive, didn't show you it. Sent you home that day with antibiotics and a meprazole for acid for a chest infection. But the next day was the day they decided whether they're on the green list or the amber and said 160 new cases. And you were one of them. I would have been one of them. But who knows? Shame. Who, shame. <laughs> shame. Shame. <laughs> who knows? Who knows how many people they're classing? Chest infection, cough. Pneumonia, cold, flu. Exactly. Ha who knows how many people they're classing as that? And I know that's, that's I know it's, it's a little controversial. Even if I did have the COVID, and you know, even if that's what it was, fair enough. But the way they know. handled it was absolute Unspecial. rubbish. It was yeah. and, the way and, they and handled it was it's, and, and it's, it's all political. political yeah. 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 It's a numbers game. It's yeah. a numbers game. The way they handled it is it was absolutely ridiculous. They left me suffering for. Ten days before they even saw me. They wouldn't give you help. They wouldn't give they you wouldn't, antibiotics. They didn't want to help me. They didn't want to give me. Did, did, give they, me, did they, they not didn't... tell you on the phone? We won't give you any help until we get a positive test. Yeah, they they wouldn't give you antibiotics. They, yeah, they, they wouldn't. Said, they said, no. no. They said if you've got the. I said I had a negative test. Do you know what the, 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 the nurse on the telephone said to me? You had a negative test, but if you have the symptoms, it's a positive. Shut up. I swear. I swear on my on my mother's grave. She said. Even if you have a negative test, oh, if you have symptoms, it's positive. Jane shit would have exact words. Jane shit would have rubbed some Vicks in your chest for you. She says. Oh. <laughs> I swear, honestly, I swear on all my family's lives. Haley's amazing. She's going to be a feature later in the week. Love you. If you have in symptoms background. and it's negative, it's still positive. I'll still cuddle you. Oh, I don't care. I'll tongue you. I'll tongue you. I ain't, get, I ain't bothered about it. Right. I don't have it now. I don't. So have it funniest experience on stage. Can you remember it? <laughs> I'm not gonna stage catch it. I'm not was, gonna catch his COVID. Was when I got paid <laughs> chest, chest infection. I got paid 20 euros to strip naked and sing a song. Well, right, hang on a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait it a was second. a private party. It was a head do. It was a right. head do. Right, come and get him off. I can't do it in here. I'll get the rest. Oh, it was a head do, and they gave me 20 euros to strip naked. Did you do it? I did, yeah. Good boy. And one, oh. of the, one of the bridesmaids. Uh, Round <laughs> No, no, you got a better offer. Rona and Jane want a Simon sandwich. Oh, wow. <laughs> Rona, you know I'm up for that, baby. Rona's, Rona's, a, Rona's a beautiful girl. Yeah. Rona always comes and gets down I to the reggae. Yeah. You have, yeah. Have you not had it? Do you want to know what it is? Oh, no. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. Steph's driving home, Daddy. apparently. Always bloody driving. Wait, well, kiss, marry, avoid. Rona. No, 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 no
Uh, Vincent Flanagan says, Michael, it looks like a good night out. I think you'd like to have a beer with us. We'll do that. Julie Phelps. Definitely. Yeah, uh, oh. Stella, Stella, makes me realise how much I need a holiday. Mummy. John Barton, we need we need New Year's Eve step again. No, you don't. Jane, yes, just, uh, uh, yes, uh, Jane says, off. what's yours, Michael? What's that? Answer me again. Ask me again. What was the question? Uh, they refused my... Oh, we've read that. It's all political. I would have rubbed your chest. <laughs> Love the singer in the background. The singer in the background is Hayley Butler doing her Queen of Rock show. We're going to feature her next week. Yeah. But tonight is Simon's Night, so make sure you go and subscribe to... Subscribe to... Subscribe. You've got, you've got a YouTube channel, no? You're not very active on it, but you have... No, I do have it. It's Simon Roberts Singer. And tell, the tell them again your TikTok and your Instagram, please. Yeah, TikTok and YouTube and Instagram, all Simon Roberts Singer. Yeah. And I have my own, which is Simon Roberts Center East. That's my Facebook thing. So you've That's seen... my own that I look after. So Anne said, where did you live in the UK? But she's asked also, where did you sing in the UK? I didn't. I never sang in the UK. He was the singing waiter. Yeah, uh, in, in Hyde Park. But you've gone back and done it. Actually, there's another page you can add that he's forgotten about. Simon Roberts, wedding singer. So oh, he, that's a Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Please push starting that. trying to get some wedding gigs. When the wedding starts again. Because it's nice. To, I want to go home and see my family a couple of times a year. But it'd be nice to have a couple of gigs to do as well. Like wedding gigs and things like that. Yeah, you know, I'd enjoy that. I think you'd be amazing. I've done a couple of wedding I gigs. I think you'd be amazing. Like, right? But... Got, but I want to do a few more because I really enjoy them. The great atmosphere you know what, and the wedding cake. I always have, that's part of the deal. <laughs> I want the cake. I want a slice of cake if we're singing your wedding. Anybody, anyone? He does like I a bit of cake. cake. He does like a bit of cake. I do. This is why I like to diet because I just uh, love eating. Jay Ship says, and I know we had that conversation on our one because we are always uh, at always the, eating. Always. Jay, Jay Ship asked this an hour uh, a minute ago, and, and I know the answer to this. Has it crossed your mind to go back to the UK during this difficult time? Yeah. In fact, <laughs> in fact, two months ago when I was trying to sell the car, I said if I sold it, I'm leaving. Yeah. But because work started again, uh, not much. Well, not much. How many shows a week have you got? Like Com three, four. Compared to three a night. Compared to 13, 14 it used to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. JJ says, yeah, Wakey's better than Touchwood or Licky End. That was our last episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our last episode, we had funny town places. We've had oh, Licky End. You've got Gipton in Leeds. But got no, but this is, we've had, we've had Bell End. Yeah, Bell End. Lick, I've heard of Licky End, Licky Hills, Licky. Butthole. Uh, 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 Sticky Bullocks race course really? in Good in, in, yeah, in Goodwood in, in Happy I Valley. Where's I used to she, she used to live in Finger in, uh, finger in Ho. Wow! And I, Ho. I said this earlier. I said. There's a place in the North Yorkshire or somewhere. I'm sure I remember or somewhere up that east, the North East. And there's a place, a weird name of a place there, and I drove through it once. Was you proud? Can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Do you know what? I, I found this conversation remember. just like a normal conversation for us. Yeah. We're just talking with, with, with an audience. <laughs> yeah. Give us some more questions, guys. Mummy, are you still on? The silvers. Um. Who's yeah, on? we had, we had, uh, yeah, we had Mary, some Mary, I think, lived near Butthole. You have to get there around the back oh. entrance. I think. Anthony, okay. are you watching? Uh, Stephanie. Well, see, we have. Keep what else did we have? Yeah, Sweaty Bullets in Happy Valley. Uh, Lee and Paul always laugh at Cockermouth. Cockermouth, yeah, Cockermouth, I know that there. Actually, there was a, a, this is not a street name, but there used to be in Essex, when I lived in Essex in Romford, there used to be a, a plastering, a, a, sorry, a carpentry firm. Their van used to drive around, they were called BJ Wood. Oh, <laughs> which I think is very good. Who was that, Jane, asking my favourite food? J uh, JJ's asked your favourite food. Oh, my favourite food, Chinese, mate. Chinese food. What'd you order? What's uh, your order? Oh, we just got discovered recently. Mm. We went to Chinatown. I texted him while we were there. Oh, it was oh, my yeah, birthday. Mate, I texted yeah, him. Yeah, I remember you saying. I remember you oh, saying. Oh, mate, it's all you can eat, but they just oh. keep on bringing out fresh food. But yeah, Chinese. I love my sweet and sour chicken. Oh, it's fast to But I like um, my sweet and sour chicken. We did the battered sweet yeah, and sour yeah. chicken. Oh. Um, ribs, ribs, and um, the, the place, my favourite Chinese on the island, yeah, here. is Slobo over on the corner, yeah. I've never been there. Mate, they do the mixed treasure. dog. Our favourite, our favourite is Treasure. Treasure. Near the really? Fox up the road from what treasure. used to be yeah. Margarita. Yeah, yeah, you get the mixed dog, dog, you get the ribs, sweet, like salt and pepper ribs, oh. and the barbecue ribs, but mate, JJ, Vincent, Chinese, I, Chinese food. Vincent Simon wouldn't have, but I did. I used to go Palms Hotel on the A12. I used to go there. Uh, Jane I, Ship asked, soccer or rugby league? I'm not really a fan of either, but I would be. It would be rugby. Wakefield, 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 Wak
It would be it would be rugby. If I had to if I had to watch one, it'd be rugby. Uh, Gal lives in Downend. I'm not sure that sounds as funny as the others. Uh, what else have we got? Questions for Simon because he's going to go in five minutes. He's yeah, going to go and set up. So last few questions for Simon. What have we got, guys? <laughs> have you enjoyed being introduced to Simon Roberts? I've enjoyed this conversation. Thank I you. have as well. Thanks for having me. It's nice. It's a normal conversation. You're going to enjoy it even more when you hear this guy sing. He's amazing. He's my. Next time we go for Chinese. Oh yes. Right. Do, you know, do, you know, do you know where we've got to go though at some point? Because all of us, I love the Chinese, I mentioned, I mentioned ribs. But in Siam Mall, my brother and his mate took me to Tony Roma's and I've never oh. had the ribs in there. You had a bad experience. We, we didn't go to Siam Mall when we went to the one at the end of the Golden Mile on the right, obviously at Villa Cortez. Oh, down there? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd never had it until the yeah. other month and, and they went there and I did, did this rack of ribs and this half chicken. Went, oh. It was about 25 quid, isn't it? I didn't pay, they paid it on. Oh, that's the right well, well, I don't know. Who took you there? Right, we'll go Chinese. My, no, bro no, my brother no. and his mate. Well, right, tell right. Craig we're going again and he can pay for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, go to Chinese, it's like 13 euros and you get all you need. This is the one in, in, in Japan. Yeah. We've got to go there. Like, yeah, we're going in a few days. Beautiful, literally, right? Because when they bring Next it out, I was like, it's okay. not a buffet. It doesn't sit there it's going, not, they, they going dry it, under the light. No, they, they cook and it and bring it. And yeah, you, and then it's an all you can eat, but they just bring it as you want it. And then they, and you say, can I have another one of these, please? And oh they're these, please. my god! They're small portions, but they make the heart. You can, you can order as many as one of the foods that I missed out though. That was what. Here's a question: What I could eat forever? Sushi, and that's a very niche thing. Pull a face. I, I, I love. Is that, is, that, is that Shane? Shane, Shane. Shane. I love sushi. Shane. I love sushi. I can, eat, I can eat sushi. Comes out my ears. I absolutely love so sushi. So, ladies, if you're listening. Oh my god. I love a bit of raw fish, baby. So, Jane, Rona, if you're I listening. I like it raw. If you're listening. Oh, oh. No. Uh, somebody asked earlier when we got. Uh, JJ, are you, uh, are you married? Do you, do you have, no, I don't. I'm seeing a girl. I'm seeing a girl now for about the last two months. Do you have any children? Marina. No. He might have, but they've not caught up with him yet. Yeah, they've not caught up with me yet. I've probably got about five kids, yeah. Would you like to be married or start a family? Yes, yes I want to. Was. I want to be married. The, fa the family thing would depend on. I don't know. I don't know about having a family. Maybe. So Anne says thanks, Michael and Simon. What a night off, of course. Uh, James said. I want to. I want to get. I want to. I, I do want to get married and spend my life with someone. And, and, Simon said the Right, I've got to go. I've got to go. Julie says she's wondering where you've been the last few weeks. You've been banned on Facebook. Say bye to the guys. I've been banned on Facebook. I'm coming, guys. Love so you all. Thank, thank you very much. Off, See you. And then we're going to put him on. So, yeah, soon. just to welcome Simon Roberts to the live tonight. We're going to go take this live stream down. And then we're going to start another one. Stick around, share, watch like, his live show. and watch his live show. I Get promise you, you're in for a treat. So, oh, yeah. so I'm going to end this now. The singing Vikings. I'll end this now, and we'll see you in two minutes, guys.